Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss today's question, sections of solids. Here take the given data, a pentagonal pyramid of base 30 mm and axis 60 mm is resting on its base in the HP. HP means horizontal plane with an edge of the base parallel to the VP. VP means vertical plane. Okay, full stop. A horizontal section plane cuts the pyramid bisecting the axis full stop draw its front view and sectional top view okay this is a given question in it pentagonal pyramid has given okay, this is a pentagonal pyramid okay this is a given solid it has pentagon this is called base okay these are called edges or sides okay of the pentagon as we know it has five sides or five edges now here what he has given its base side is 30 mm okay this base side is 30 mm means all sides has equal length 30 mm this side all sides has 30 mm and then axis 60 mm axis means height of the pyramid okay it is 60 mm 6 centimeters it is resting on its base in the hp horizontal plane so this is the base it is on the horizontal plane like this consider this is the horizontal plane it is resting on the hp okay and now with an edge of the base parallel to the vp okay one of the edge of the base we can take any edge okay this is parallel to the vertical plane like this okay if you are taking this is the edge it is like this now this is a vertical plane okay so this edge is parallel to the vertical plane this is a vertical plane means the distance between this is constant throughout the edge so one of the edge is parallel to the vp like this if they have given one of the edges tilting angle with vp means it is tilting like this this edge is tilting angle with the vertical plane now they have given it is parallel to vp like this okay the distance is constant now pentagon is coming first edge after that pentagon is coming okay now after that let us do the projections initially okay now if you are taking this pyramid like this here we have to do the front view of the object and top view of the object okay where the polygon will come in the front view or top view top view means if you see from top we will see this pentagon and uh, these inclined edges are meeting at the center of the pentagon okay so first do the pentagon in top view pentagon is coming let us do doing these two views we are taking one reference line it has some length it is called xy line also so initially do the top view why initially we are doing top view means wherever the polygon is coming so in top view we will get the pentagon here first do that polygon as we know one of the edges parallel to the vertical plane like this okay now here first we have to do the edge we have to do the pentagon so which method we are following for doing the pentagon means we are using the outer angle formula initially do this line of side how much it has given 30 mm okay it has given here so initially do this line of 3 centimeter okay and now take this angle outer angle formula we have for any polygon so this outer angle formula is 360 by n we are taking okay so n is number of sides of the polygon here we are taking the pentagon n is 5 here okay 360 by 5 means it is 72 degrees so all outer angles at all the corners outer angle is 72 okay by using these angles we can construct this pentagon after that so after doing the pentagon we can see this slant edges also in the from the top we can see the slant edges also all slant edges are meeting at the center okay now i am taking this is called apex and uh, here also one center is there in the top view both apex and center are coming at the same point okay now i am marking apex is it is o and uh, this center is o1 both o and o1 are coming at the same point and these slant edges are meeting at this point and here these slant edges are in the top view meeting at the center okay so these all slant edges it is coming like this okay this gap has not given we can take any gap from the vertical plane okay now this is the top view in the front view we can see the entire height first initially mark first initially mark the height after that we, we can see this slant edges okay for doing it just at center do one line okay and uh, from this base how much height it is it has given six centimeters okay height of the pyramid so from this base mark that height so for apex just now i told i am taking o okay and then do the projectile lines at all the corners as you know projectile lines are light color lines 
okay if you do here it is coincide with axis this projector line now here copy we are giving small letters a b c d e like that for corner names now here if you are taking here in the front view it is a dash this point is b dash this point is at c c dash and this point is e dash this point is d dash okay same name for front view we are giving dash for top view we are giving without dash that in the front view we can see the slant edges okay now here do the continuous lines by using the scale join with apex here these are the if you are taking here in the front view we can't see this e and d okay so whatever edges are passing through it those are invisible lines for invisible lines in solids we are taking the dashed line like this okay now in sections of solids we did both front view and top view okay now this is the front view we did the projections front view and top view okay after that before taking this sectional plane initially we will do the projections okay in this projections we are taking these two views initially do the xy line of some length okay in the sheet by using the instruments okay let us do one horizontal line of some length take any gap here do 3 cm line that line is parallel to this reference line here do one line of some length take 3 cm on it make it dark mark the end points make it dark here after doing this line take this side and this side 72 degrees okay 3 3 cm lines 20 and here 72 okay. here join this point to this point take 3 cm line here also take 72 okay do the line here take 72 degrees 71 72 in this direction take 3 cm line so this is the closing side check whether this is 3 cm or not 3 cm join these two so this is the pentagon we got these are the top use small letters we are giving a b c d e after doing the pentagon find out the center of it how to find center of any polygon here take any two adjacent sides bisect this length and bisect this length bisecting that length means dividing into half equal half divisions okay for doing it we have one procedure take b as center by using compass take more than half of this length okay now just do an arc this side and this side similarly take the same radius c as center cut this previous arc okay join this point to this point it is a perpendicular bisector one thin line like this now similarly bisect this cd length also okay take c as center take more than half of this length just do an arc this side and this side both sides take the same radius d as center cut that arc here extend this arcs this side with the same radius c as center extend those arcs join this intersection points so this line and this line intersection point is the center for this polygon we are taking it is o1 in the top view we can see the slant edges also all slant edges are meeting at the center join all corners to the center like this at all these points do the projector lines up to this xy line do the line okay thin at a do the thin line so here mark the intersection points at a it is a dash 
Similarly, at P it is B dash, here C dash, here E dash, here D dash. O X Y line mark the six centimeter height at six centimeters. Apex. Join all these points to apex. These are two are the hidden points. So the edges are also hidden edges. Dashed line. Here in it, one more question has also given. Here a horizontal sectional plane cuts the pyramid bisecting the axis. Okay, here we have taken one plane. Plane means it is a 2D object, two dimensional object. Okay, so it is a horizontal plane. Now let us take this is a horizontal direction. This is a horizontal plane. Now consider this is a horizontal plane. It is in the horizontal position. Now if you are taking it is two dimensional view. It is it has some width. It has some height. If you see here it has a negligible thickness. So we can call it as the horizontal plane. If the position of the plane is like this, we can call it as vertical plane. Okay. Here we are taking the horizontal plane. Okay. Here this horizontal plane cuts the pyramid by setting the axis. Here what is the axis? Axis means just now I told. This is the apex. This is the center. The distance between O to O1. Okay, it, it is called axis. Axis means it is the imaginary line joining this center to the apex. Okay, this distance we are calling axis. Here, this horizontal plane is cutting this axis, cutting the pyramid, and bisecting the axis. Bisecting the axis means it is uh, axis length. Let us take. It has given axis length is six centimeters. At half means from this it is three centimeter. Okay, at three centimeter distance, this section plane is cutting the pyramid. If we take practically, this horizontal plane is cutting at the at the center of the axis height. Okay, like this, it is cutting total pyramid. Okay, at the B point already we did the continuous line. So this is the front view, this is the top view. After that we do the section plane. Where is the section plane? It is cutting the axis at the middle. So height of the axis is six centimeters at the middle means three centimeter from here. So mark the middle point. So it is a horizontal section plane. The line is coming here. So section plane is passing through the center. It is horizontal section plane. Okay. So always section plane we are marking with two big lines with a dot. Okay. This is the section plane. Here mark the end points V and T. Okay. It is cutting this edge, slant edge at this point. Give this name P dash. So mark this apex is O dash. O dash, A dash, it is cutting at P dash. And then O dash, B dash, it is cutting at Q dash. And this third edge, O dash, C dash, it is cutting at R dash. And then take the fourth edge. Okay. P, Q, R, S dash, it is cutting at H dash. Here this point is T dash. Okay, like that we are taking the intersection points. Now here wherever the intersection points are there, okay, mark those points in the top view also. Okay, how to mark these points on the top view means as we know projectile lines are joining top view point and front view point. Similarly, at these points also do the projectile lines. Okay. Now here take this is the reference line. At P dash, do the projectile line. Extend this projectile line up to this set to O1A. So on OA we are getting P point. So here also up to OA do the projectile line of P. Okay, this is a P point. On O dash A dash P dash on OA it is P. Okay. And similarly extend this R also on OC. OC is here. Extend this projectile line. Take this is a reference line. Do the projectile line. Okay, this point is small r on od h dash okay extend this h dash up to od take this is the reference line at this point up to od okay so this is s small letter okay now t where is t is coming on oe on oe we have to mark take this is the reference line up to t at T do the projectile line so this point is small t okay we got P R H T 
क्यू वी हैव टू मार्क वेर इज क्यू पॉइंट ऑन ओ बी ओके बट हियर इट इज कमिंग ऑन द सेम एक्सेस लाइन टेक दिस इज द सेंटर ओके ओ वन इज अ सेंटर ओ आर इज अ रेडियस दिस इज अ रेडियस टू एन आर्क अप टू दिस ओ बी लाइक दिस ओके वट एवर इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट इज कमिंग टेक दैट पॉइंट इज क्यू पॉइंट वाई वी आर टेकिंग लाइक दिस मीन्स here we are getting the inclined edges oa and oa same point we are marking but ob is on the same line and uh, this line is also on the same that's why i take this radius same center do an arc up to this take this is a q after getting p q r s t join all these points okay after cutting this part removing this part from the top view we are getting this section okay so this is the cutting plane now after cutting this we are removing this part whatever remaining part is there it should be dark make it dark compared to this part okay cutting after cutting we are getting this pentagonal area it is a hashed section so hashed section we had to take the lines 45 degrees lines already here i did 45 degrees line just for getting the parallel lines i am taking this is a reference line okay i am moving the scale here whatever hashed whatever cutting area is here i am making into hashed section this to the parallel lines 45 degrees parallel lines at equal distance so from the top view we can see this area and uh, this pentagon also we can see so make it dark both outer pentagon and inside pentagon so here marked the given dimension the side length of the pentagon is 30 mm and here the height of the axis is 60 mm and this cutting plane is passing through center of this axis it is 30 mm at the middle of this axis length this is a method of doing the section of given pentagonal pyramid if you like this lecture please press the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching